welcome. Uh, so thank you so very much for joining me uh, today for this tutorial and um, I'm so very excited that I just uh, joined YouTube and I will be posting loads and loads of videos on here. So thank you for being with me. Thank you for following along if you haven't done yet. So, so just click subscribe on my channel and let's paint together. Right, so uh, it's Easter tomorrow, yay! Um, I was thinking what to paint for, um, I kind of wanted to paint something Easter related, but didn't really want to do all the, you know, like eggs and I don't know, like birds and whatever stuff. So I found something really cool, what I thought you will guys, um, you guys will enjoy painting along with me. So also inspired by my two year old daughter, <laughs> I decided to paint this little guy. I don't know if you can see it, you probably can. I hope you can. Um, yeah, so um, we're just gonna paint that and we're gonna call it our Easter Bunny. So I'm very, very excited about that. I already painted one, so I'm just gonna show it quickly to you how awesome it looks. So there's the bunny. Woo, how awesome is that, isn't it? Right, so for the painting today, we are going to need a few things. Just feel free to use uh, as few things as possible. You can probably get away with only using acrylics and maybe if you have Sharpie, that will also be very helpful. So I will be using, primarily, I will be using acrylics, acrylic paint. So I'm, I just have a variety of brands, so it can be Liquitex Basics or anything um, student grade, Acrylics Amsterdam and um, Artist Love from Michaels, have some professional paint as well. So just anything you have, and I had a variety, just a bunch of different colors, colorful pinks and uh, greens and blues and um, definitely need white and uh, also have a couple of blue and paints gray that's one of my favorites that's also paints gray so uh, that's that about the colors um, that I chose I will also might be using some of the soft pastels. So I just have a few colors here. So since you saw that the, the bunny is pink, so I picked some uh, pink, white, and just like darker colors as well. Just like I said, Sharpie. So this is like, uh, it has, uh, it's a twin tip Sharpie. So uh, I'm gonna need both of them today. So if you don't have this kind of Sharpie, so maybe you have two separate ones, with a, a finer tip and thicker tip. Doesn't really matter, to be honest. It's just like for, you know, just um, last touch ups. Um, I also uh, uh, intend to use these Posca pens. So I just picked pink and white. So uh, this is a very fine tip. It's uh, 0 0.7 millimeters and this one's a little thicker, so yeah. So that, uh, I will only use that just to complement um, the painting. So these are not necessary, but if you have them, it's definitely gonna be, uh, it's definitely gonna add some good stuff to, uh, to your piece. Right, so shall we start? So first of all, you can either, uh, I'm pretty sure you probably have, especially if you have kids, you probably have a, one of these plush bunnies at home. So you can either have that as a model or just pick any um, plush bunny off uh, the internet just for the reference, just the image for the reference. And uh, I, if, I, if I were you, I would probably practice before going straight to your painting and um, uh, just to try and or you can uh, kind of just use pencil uh, to begin with and then go and outline it with Sharpie but I'm gonna be uh, drawing with Sharpie right away just kind of try uh, I'm gonna try to make it loose and simple I'm not gonna worry about making it perfect I'm gonna be able to adjust it anytime I want so I'm gonna start with the head so um, 
just just think of where you want your bunny to sit on uh, on a page so I'm gonna say probably here to here and that's gonna be my very first reference so I'm just gonna go ahead so the head's a little squarish if if that makes any sense it's not actually round but I'm just gonna round the corner corners and just make it that shape it's okay I'm gonna be covering lots of it lots of unwanted lines with the paint so Sharpie usually comes comes out actually if you um, if you were to paint over it it will definitely uh, surface Then I'm going to do this and then I do uh, a giant U shape just above the reference because that's the line where I want his like feet like their soles to be. So just below where the stomach, like the belly ends, the body here. And then I'm gonna do the arms. Don't worry if um, the, the shapes are overlapping and it's not perfect. It is not supposed to be perfect whatsoever. It's just fun and very loose. It's all good. Then I'm gonna have the feet real big. Add dimension to it. There's just so many lines here. I hope guys you can see what I'm doing here. Don't worry if you need to adjust a little bit. It's all good. Just adding a little nose. This is just as simple as it gets, trust me. This is really, really simple. Adding the ears. You can make them as big as you want. It doesn't have to be in proportion whatsoever. Oh my gosh, this is already looking very cute. right and i believe that i am done with outlining my bunny oh also i'm just gonna put like a puncture line like just a breaking line right in the middle so let's pretend this is a real pl plush bunny i mean like a plush bunny not a real bunny right so uh now we can start and paint so just like i mentioned at the beginning I'm gonna have um, I have a few colors that I put on my plate on that palette already so these are all the colors that I named at the beginning for you and I'm just gonna add this um, this uh, light light blue permanent so what I'm gonna do first so this is going to be uh, like an underpainting that I'll do at the moment so which underpainting is something that will 
uh, shine through or or like I'm just gonna leave bits of it uncovered so we do underpainting and we do a painting on top of it and so whatever shines through it will create like a very special nice effect to it so I'm gonna start uh, with the bunny I'm just gonna make the bunny very colorful I'm gonna use almost all of these colors and then I'll do the background so the background because I want it to be like a night background with yellow stars and um, that's why I'm gonna use yellow uh, for the background and I'm gonna use this uh, yellow oxide for the bottom of it and I'm not gonna cover it with blue sky and I'm gonna make it into this is not gonna be like a very precise gradient but it will be uh, darker getting into lighter paint uh, sorry yellow <laughs> So I'm gonna have dark at the bottom, uh, yellow, this lemon yellow in the middle and just add some more white at the top. So uh, I'm just explaining to you what I'm gonna be doing because this part, because uh, acrylic paint dries super, super fast. So I just wanna make it very quick and I don't wanna spend too much time on it as it's only an underpainting. What, however, it's still important. So. I'm gonna start uh, with the bunny so just like I said the permanent marker will always surface so even if you know because these um, uh, paints acrylic paints most of these colors are very translucent so uh, if I even if I you know if it seems like the uh, layer of paint on the the outline of the bunny is dark as soon as it dries you can definitely be able to see the lines uh, these sharper lines coming surfacing like coming um, through so uh, don't worry about that just um, just go ahead and just cover the bunny in colorful paint this is gonna be amazing it's gonna be beautiful just adding some special effects I am doing this very randomly. I don't have a plan. So I'm just making sure that I'm going over the lines everywhere randomly. Maybe the one thing that I can um, think of is Maybe having this darker color down below because that's where we're going to be placing uh, the shadow. So it might help to emphasize the shadow. So you can think about that, but nothing really, nothing more than that. Just enjoy. Just be creative. If, um, if colors are mixing together on the paper it's also perfect it's fine it's even better so my pink is turning into purple and i absolutely love it just gonna not use too much pink because pink's gonna be the top layer and i don't want them to be the same color otherwise it won't do anything for the painting. Adding more happy colors, yellow and very um, what's it called? It's also turquoise. 
although they're all mixing up and they like I just don't want to overdo it otherwise it's just gonna turn into one color and that's what I don't really want I want it to be colorful I want it to be a little random as well don't want it to be perfect this is not what I'm looking for so I have my bunny covered this is just this is if you if you get that this is exactly what it's supposed to be at this point point. and now I'm just gonna do the background so I'm just drying my brush and just like I said background I want to do dark yellow yellow oxide to very light yellow so I'm just gonna I'll actually what I'll do I'll take a little bigger brush Also, doing it quick. Just mix in colors right on paper. And light yellow on top. Things like that, things like that, don't worry about it. This is And you probably notice I'm not being very thorough either. That is also not a problem. All I want to do is to cover the entire uh, the entire surface with paint, so it's not white. Adding big strokes. You can think of, um, you can try and keep it as thin as possible because it dries quicker and you want it to dry quicker because it's only under painting. So before it dried 100%, we, can, we were not gonna be able to do uh, the next layer, the top layer. Right, so I think my underpainting is done. So this is perfect. That's what I'm supposed to have by this point. And now I'm just gonna use my uh, hair dryer to dry to dry this underpainting. Yeah. Uh, the painting is uh, dried and believe it or not we are halfway there uh, so this is a very important step but we're gonna cover like I don't know like 95% of it <laughs> anyway so uh, let's continue to the bunny so I'm gonna make the bunny pink and I'm just gonna uh, work in very thin layers over what I have at the moment. 
so uh, so you can see the this and I'm painting layer of shining through and also you can see bits of it that I will not cover so just you can just follow along with me so I'm mixing this very light pink Some of the lines if you feel like you want to make them a little darker so uh, if you worry if you cover them too much you can uh, you can do that now or you can do that at the end or you can do now some of the lines and then at the end so it's up to you it's your painting just do the way you feel comfortable I can see my lines quite well I'm not sure if you can see it on camera as well as I can but I'm just gonna try and keep it more simple. So I'll just do the lines. I'm just gonna go over my lines at the end.
the bunny is there but it's not quite right yet so and now I'm just gonna be doing the final touch-ups and there will be quite a few of them uh, since I need to go over the bunny with the paint again and then I'll go over the background as well but this is not gonna be a lot so the main like the, the most of the job that we are gonna do today is already done so now we just need to make sure uh, we do these final tweaks so I'm gonna take a sharpie again now because sharpie uh works magic on stuff like that so defining uh defining the shapes is really gonna make a huge difference so now i see these lines here i don't really like them that much so i'm gonna try and change them but before i'll just do work with sharpie and leave this bit out so i'm just gonna outline the face just gonna make it slightly bigger than it is just keep it loose just keeping it loose so this is very handy by the way <laughs> Because I keep losing Sharpie out my side and this is really helping to keep these both bits together. So I'm just going to outline the nose with a, with a finer tip. Just add in, in these extra lines. So my background was so thick, it's actually not entirely dry yet, but I'm usually impatient with these kind of things. So I'm just, I'm just going in. gonna try finer tip this is actually a lot nicer So this is already looking a lot better to me. So I just keep outlining. So this is really long, don't you think? one right my gosh I'm really loving this legs This is awesome. This is so huge. I love it. This is really enjoyable, you guys. You should definitely do it. And the good thing about it is there's nothing to mess up. There's nothing precise in there whatsoever. This is already looking so much better. So I'm gonna try and fix its face. I'm 
going to go in same brush just cover that black line because it's not where it needs to be that's not where I want it to be actually so these kind of things like this line is just making the entire face look a different shape and this is kind of important you know if you like the way it is it's perfect but I feel like I want it to be I wanted to move these lines a little bit So I'm doing this with a very, it's like a dry brush. Because I don't want it to bleed. I don't want the paint to bleed at all. Just the way it is, it's perfect. want to cover that blue dark blue slightly So I really that. Just going to use it here a little bit. Not too much. And make uh, its belly a little lighter. It's like a pastel color. Just adding more dimension to it so it's not that flat. Such a beautiful color. I'm 
I'm just adding it everywhere. <laughs> this is actually good for a color continuity. Uh, the bunny is pink right but it has all kinds of shades and like different colors in it so it's just painting so i'm just gonna keep adding them all oh my gosh this is really cool i love it All right. So this is pretty dark. I'm going to add just a little bit of purple in there too, just a little bit. Just the tiniest bit. Okay, that's enough. What I'll do is I'm um, just gonna make the head a little more like round at the top. These acrylics are drying really really fast so from like whenever I started painting it with you guys like everything's already dry. Perfect. Awesome. This is really good. So I wanted to try now before I do anything else. Actually put a little white in there. Right, so I wanted to try before I do anything else. And I will be doing something else, not a lot. I say stop and I just keep going. <laughs> right. So, okay, I'm not gonna do anything to the bunny for a moment. I'm just gonna leave it there. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna cover it very paint I have on the palette just a little bit I don't need a lot I'm just gonna liquefy it just add more water until it's runny like this so it needs to be runny for it to splash 
And now sometimes people say, oh, uh, the, the paint is runny, but it still wouldn't splash. So the reason why that happens sometimes, because um, your paintbrush soaks up a lot of paint. So if the paint gets stuck in your paintbrush, like a lot of things. But I'm just going to use good old paintbrush. It's actually quite old as well. <laughs> yeah. Also splash like this. So I have a variety. So there's like bigger dots, bigger splashes and smaller ones. Right, that will be enough. Oh, this has already changed it so much. I'm really liking it. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'll take a Q-tip. Sorry. I Mix it there, just a little bit of that yellow, very, very light yellow. It's almost like glowing because remember, these are stars here. So this kind of stars, it's like a starry night. So, and then I'm just going to add a few dots, like bigger dots. They're almost translucent. So I want them to be like, you know, they're not like very intense yellow dots but they're almost like a glowing stars some of them can be more intense so if you press a q-tip very like if you press it hard And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, so I'm not actually, I'm not really liking what's going on here that much. So I'm just gonna go back and <clears throat> take my paintbrush and go back, take some white and some pink. Go back in there and try to adjust it a little bit. So just have some pink, like a very light pink, like baby pink. That is good pink.
just a little darker with that nice color I love that color I don't know I probably sound like crazy but this is a really nice color all over the painting but I am going already so this is so much nicer than just that magenta color it's a little less intense more neutral not neutral but like natural color if that makes sense right this is already very good bit just a little highlights Just a few highlights. Don't want to go crazy on it. Although it looks really nice, so it's really easy to get carried away. But I'm gonna stop myself now. I'm hoping that this is all dry and I can go in. With my Sharpie pen. So I'm just gonna Okay, this is a lot better. I can still see the other uh, black coming through, so I'm just, I'm just gonna fix it. So that it doesn't look weird. Right, looks good for now. And I'm gonna take my uh, the fine tip Posca pen and I'm just gonna go around the ice with the white. Just loosens it up a little bit. So just want to say one thing before you did something silly like I almost did. If you go, uh, if you have wet paint 
and on your uh, piece and then you go with sharpie over it so the tip of the sharpie will probably soak up the paint and it will dry in there and there's literally nothing you can do so we're just gonna ruin your sharpie so just be careful with that you you know wait a that um, the painting is dry completely before you go over it with sharpie so i'm just gonna so i'm just making the nose a little a little more yellow so it's nice so the green looks a little weird but i don't i don't want to make it black or anything so i'm just taking my finger going in there not touch the wet paint and just have that um, just have that line down the middle and just come in here just darken that corner darken it here under the face and smudge it just smudge it so it looks a little more natural then I say natural it's just um, I guess it's a Lithuanian thing to say uh, like a transparent layer of blue over it and uh, yeah it looks a lot better than just like a you know like a just like a line of dark blue uh, right and then I'm just gonna take a brown pastel which I haven't prepared but I have it just right there and it's like a darkest brown I have I'm just gonna go entire bunny and just smudge it a little bit just to make it seem like there is a shadow under it like it's real it's in there all nice and just I'm gonna take I had paints gray somewhere here it is so I'm gonna take paints gray just like a little bit on my finger again you are welcome to use anything else you are welcome to use a brush if you want to fingers just make it look a lot nicer I don't know what's about it but like brush strokes are um, nice but this is different and for that kind of thing which is um, it's like almost like illustration it's perfect so I'm just gonna with that dark paint gray and I'm not gonna just make it like black thick I'm not gonna put like a thick and black layer but I'm just smudging dark paints gray over it just like a, imagine there's like a shadow I don't know if that's a good idea. I am just doing it. I'll see if it's a good idea later. <laughs> but I bet it is. So, uh, right. So we're almost there. And like just one last thing. What I'd like to do is take white. Take some white. And just like going over these areas. Just making white a little whiter. Like just making some highlights. 
I don't know. Just, just, it just looks good. Cannot, cannot see why. Maybe you disagree with me, so don't do that. <laughs> right. Okay then. So I think I am done. The only thing I need to do is to sign, which I just did. So there it is. That's your Easter Bunny. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me. Um, I, I'm, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good fun. And I hope you have a beautiful day tomorrow with your families. And I, I, I'm guessing you'll probably find this tutorial uh, after Easter. <laughs> Not sure. I'll upload it today which is Saturday and um, yeah just whenever you have the time this is Easter bunny but it's not necessarily you know it doesn't have to be Easter for you to paint it so thank you very much for joining so uh, yeah I would just like to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm hoping that we'll make more art together in the future thanks very much guys bye